Today I'm making a small batch of homemade baby lotion and this lotion uses all natural, very simple, raw ingredients. So to make this baby lotion, what you need to do is combine about one half cup of raw shea butter in a glass bowl with two tablespoons of coconut oil, two tablespoons of jojoba oil, and two tablespoons of beeswax pellets, or you can use a cheese grater and grate off some beeswax from a larger block of beeswax if you have that around. Then put the bowl on top of a boiling pot of water and move everything to the stove and boil the water until everything starts to melt together. This is just creating a double boiler. I think most people probably don't have a double boiler, so this is an easy way of making one at home. Once everything is melted and combined, put the glass bowl into your refrigerator until the mixture is hard but not completely solid. At this point, if you're in a real rush, you can just use the mixture as it is. You can spoon out some of the this mixture into a glass mason jar and use it as it is or you can whip it so that is what I did I took my hand mixer and whipped the lotion until it was a bit fluffier Now I think I pulled mine out of the fridge a little too early and so after I whipped it initially I put everything back into the fridge and then when I pulled it out about a half an hour later the texture was more of a lotion texture as opposed to a wetter texture. The reason I like to make my baby lotion at home but also lotion for myself and other members of the family is because, well, there are a few reasons. The first is that it's just simpler. One thing I try to do a lot of is reduce how many decisions I have to make every day. And making a decision about what kind of lotion to buy or what kind of lip balm to buy, those kind of decisions to me are not worth the mental capacity that it takes to make them. And so if I just make the intentional decision to start to make those things at home, then I don't have to even think about going to the store and picking out which brand I want to try. Another reason is that when you buy your body lotions at a store, of course, you don't know all the ingredients that are in there. And by making your own, you can know exactly what's in it. We're using today raw shea butter, which is incredibly moisturizing. We're using coconut oil, which is really healthy for the skin and is really helpful in fighting bacteria. So that's why um, in homemade body butters, it's often used because if you have something like acne, coconut oil is great at fighting against that. Whereas in the store, a lot of brands tend to prioritize how things smell. What that means is that lots of times there are chemicals and ingredients that you wouldn't necessarily want to have on your skin and certainly you wouldn't want to have on your baby's skin. And a third reason that I like to make my own products is that it reduces the waste that's generated because whenever we run out of lotion, I can just make another batch, use the same trusty mason jar again. We've only bought one jar and we just keep reusing it. Actually, another final reason that I'll mention is that once you have the ingredients, so once you have shea butter, coconut oil, olive oil, and if you have beeswax, once you have a few of these ingredients on hand, you can make a ton of different things. You can make this baby lotion, you can also make lip balm, you can make body butters, but you can even make homemade candles. So there's a ton you can make if you just do that initial investment in some of these products. Now I'm not using essential oils in this baby lotion today and that's because I plan to use it on my very young baby, so under three months, and essential oils aren't recommended for very young babies. But if you have older children or you're making it for yourself, you can add about 15 drops of maybe lavender essential oil or eucalyptus oil or even chamomile. Those are all very relaxing scents that will help with stress relief. This lotion is great for babies but it's also good for mothers so if you're breastfeeding and you have cracked nipples this lotion can work as a nipple balm and help with cracked nipples if you would like to bookmark this recipe or print it off for later i will put a link straight to the blog post that corresponds with this video and i have other simple self-care ideas on documentingsimpleliving.com like how to make a homemade vanilla coconut sugar scrub which is super easy and how to make a eucalyptus linen spray and things like that so if that is of interest make sure to check that out at documentingsimpleliving.com thank you so much for stopping by today i make two videos every week about simplifying food self-care and consumption in the modern world i'll speak to you in the next documenting simple living video